All right, we are back with a working sound effect. As you heard, I don't know if you heard uh, Basil put that lightsaber away, but <coughs> I actually forgot something. Uh, two seconds, guys. I'll keep talking to you, but hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot something. I'm just moving away from my mic for a second. Be back. Coming back. Putting some up. Sorry. Okay. Where's my headset? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm here. Sorry about that, everybody. Just had to uh, get a foot rest, <laughs> essentially. Anyway, okay, nice and comfy. Gotta be comfy. Everyone's just been looking at me just stand, like, I don't know. I'm trying to adjust the mic now into a comfortable playing position. Okay, so, alrighty, I think I'm good now. So we were going to, um, hold on, what was I gonna do? There was something I was going to do. Oh, I can't remember now. So when I get back to the ship, I'm going to upgrade my sabers. But the, the thing here is, I don't know if I want to keep my two lightsabers or use the double-bladed saber that I picked off that Dark Jedi. Oh, let me look at my uh, ma or my stuff. Gino Har Haradan. Oh, I could have just read that. I didn't know I went to find it. Yeah, yeah. This. This is what I was going to do. Oh, okay, yeah. I remembered. It was something. Because I upgraded my Persuade since I last did that. So I want to try it and see what happens. Talk to this fat worm. I. It was just a bit. I didn't get much of a modifier, but... Because I would like to get the experience for something that simple by just persuading the dumbass. Although I do have Affect Mind now. I could Force Persuade him. Aha! I mean, Dominate Mind, not Affect Mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Racing or Business. Talk about Nico. I think you should give him a better deal. Yeah, I already did this crap. We'll see if we can Persuade him. No, alright. We're going to Force Persuade him. Of course I just want to give him a better deal. Did I say that? Wait, I guess it does make sense. His times have suffered since I made the offer. I mean, swoop jocks are moody. They feel bad, they don't win. Alright, I'll give him a better deal and make it back in the long run. I guess you, of course, are not getting paid. I trust this is the last I will hear to hear about this matter. Was there anything else? Let's see. Sorry right, now, you want all the tears. Alrighty, alrighty, I'm too, I'm too good. I'm too good, I get it. I'll be back. There, because I remember I, I got Dominate Mind. Remember, I'm like, screw it, let's just get it. You again? I don't really feel Bro, do, what do you mean? I talked to Mata about you. I suppose you've got a right to no track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I convinced Mata to give you a better contract. You did? I don't believe it. I mean, I do, but I sure wasn't expecting it. I appreciate it. I I really do. No problem, bro. Now I can take my bike to the big races. There's not much of a circuit right now, but I'll be ready when it recovers. When do you think you'll be leaving? Hard to tell. I'll get some more runs here first. I need the practice. I have to top your time. Ha. Goodbye then, and good luck. Thanks again. I meant it. Oh, no, I believe you did. See, nice little additional 200. As simple as it was, I, I might as well have gone back, and then I would have been like, crap, I forgot. But I came back. I got it. Everyone's a happy camper. So, the only thing I didn't do was find uh, Missions Bro yet. But I got to start a conversation. Kind of like what I did with Bastila. But I know it prompts you. I know someone's like, oh, I saw blah blah. I saw a guy named Griff blah blah on... On Tatooine, you have to go back. So I might go back. Similar, I might go back like like as a last resort. And uh, oh, what am I trying to say? I might go back to uh, Dantooine and Tatooine. All when it's, it's said and done. Before I do my final stuff, I might just pick up some loose scraps and finish those missions off, and just get the quick experience. I mean, it may benefit me now, but uh, I don't know. Do I want to go to Dantooine? Okay, 
No, the first thing I was going to do was look in these containers. I was going there, and then that broad talked about Basila. I would have been long gone, but... You know, you got to alert. You got to search or you're lurking. Well, you sound psyched to be here, bro. Oh, we'll just spin some sabers. I'll take that. Love all the just random stuff for the, like, just free shit for the taking. Well, at least I'm taking it. Alright, let's get on the Ebon Hawk. And I'm gonna go straight to the workbench and try some combos out. See, the downside about having a double-bladed saber is, yeah, it does more damage overall, but at the same time, um, I can upgrade, I have two, I have, instead of having two ports for upgrade, I have four, because I have two lightsabers. See, whoa, whoa, easy there. There, here are the Giska, they're pretty adorable. Here, I'll pick one up. Aww. Aww, let's pet it. Kill it! <laughs> pet it. <laughs> he just reaches down. Scratch the little critter behind his knobs and pass for ears, and it coos enthusiastically. Aww. It's adorable. Play a game with the Gizka. What fun. Curiously, that's funny. Alright, kill it! No, <laughs> I won't do that. That's funny. Alright, let's go to the workbench. Upgrade what I wanted to upgrade. Saber, alrighty. Let's see what I can do with this. I have a crystal sigil already. But, hold on. The dragon pearl increases the damage like crazy. What is the, the Rubat? No. Diamond. Opila is pretty good. Opala, however you say it. I think Sigil's my best bet. Like, this is the best combo for one Saber. And then I can equip stuff for here. So, Rubat isn't bad, but I think I want Opila here. And, uh, Crystal Rubat over here. So I got a 6 and 20 and a 5 and 24. But, let's do this. Hold on. I'm going to put the same combo in a double bladed saber. Okay. Uh, okay. Crystal Sigil. And Great Dragon Pearl. 5 and 28, yo. What? Really? I thought the Crystal Sigil did something else. Oh, maybe not. 5 to 28. It really is only a little bit better. But you gotta admit, it does look gangster with the blue. Alright, hold on. What was mine again? Let's see. Great Dragon Pearl. And Sigil. So the only difference is... Um, the Double Bladed Saber has a 5 to 28. Where this is a 5 to 24. And my second one is 6 to 20. So I think this is still the best option. Having two Sabers. But it doesn't mean I can't upgrade Bastila's stuff. We'll give her a Rubat. And a Damond. Here we go. And this is... Uh, what's her name's? I guess I'll give her Bondar. The shrimp dick lightsaber. They look funny. You can actually get one of the Dark Jedi short lightsabers. Oh, that's in KOTOR 2. And it's better than some of the single-hilted lightsabers. With maxed out. It's pretty funny. Uh, let's see here. See, honestly, I have an attack modifier plus 4 when I do that. But same with the double-bladed. Right now, I don't think the double-bladed is really the best option. I mean, I think the Crate Dragon Pearl is one of the best combos you can get. Damage 2 and attack 3. This gives me da attack 1 and damage energy 1 to 6. But I think there are better crystals in Sigil, but it was one of the better ones. 5 to 24. The only difference is I can have a max of 28. So yeah, right now, this is the better this is the better combo, because I have a double chance of this much damage. Like, You know what I mean? 6 to 20. What am I sporting? Rubat. And Opila. Yeah, Opila really helps. Really helps. Massive criticals. 
2 plus 12 damage on critical hit. Yeah, so I think I'm going to stick with this for now. And if I get something better, I might upgrade to double bladed. I'm so used to doing double bladed, but this might be the better option. Anyway, uh, upgrade his scope, I suppose. We've already upgraded this maximum. Melee weapons. Nobody's really using these right now. Armor. Calon, I want to upgrade this, though. So, hold on. Let's take off the Republic Mod armor. And put it on the Kalos. Holy shit! It gives you 12 defense. I think I should put that on Candorous. Like, what was this? Defense 2. And that's cold resistance. He already has a rec cold resistance anyway. So it makes more sense to do keep it here. That's crazy. And it's immune to critical hits. That's bonkers. That's a good ass weapon. Okay, we're done. I like it. I like my situation. Now I could talk. There's a lot to talk to. A lot of people to talk to. Which is the unfortunate thing. Because I kind of want to get going. But I'll talk to them. Yeah, what do you want? You got any more war stories? Hmm. I think I'll tell you a bit about the recent war we had with the Republic. That might be more familiar to you. The one where Jedi Revan beat my people. Yeah. We started by conquering worlds outside the Republic. We did it quietly so the Republic wouldn't really know what was going on until it was too late. When we finally did hit the Republic worlds, they had no idea we were coming. We came in through three invasion corridors in adjacent sectors. Anyone who put up a fight, or wouldn't fight, was crushed. We raised whole worlds trying to provoke the Republic into fighting us. I don't particularly enjoy wiping out worlds for its own sake, but the cowardly tactics the Republic defenders used left us little choice. What do you mean? Hiding in the homes of civilians, using families as shields, thinking we would not use appropriate force on their bases inside major cities. They underestimated our resolve, and what measures are acceptable in war. Those who cannot defend themselves should not be around those who can in battle. If annihilating a city is the kind of power it takes to overwhelm a Republic shield device, then that's what we did. Necessary force to destroy all opposition. But killing people is wrong. It's wrong to hide with shields surrounding you, hoping the enemy will be so good as to throw themselves at your feet to be slaughtered. I have no time or patience for cowards. They deserve to be hunted down and exterminated like vermin. That's there pretty no extreme. There was no honor in wiping them out like rats. But some of your forces did redeem the Republic in our eyes. Especially later. Later? Later, when Revan had joined the war. But we'll get back to that. We've wasted too much time already. Is there something else you want to know? Can you, that's all. Can you give me some magic? Hey, don't worry. I think you've a real war. There all anything right. else? No. Tell me more about the Mandalorian Wars. I can tell them. We fought against the Republic forces for some time over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius on the field. Yes, Revan he was. Revan abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. And in the end, Revan proved too much for us. You couldn't have won against the whole galaxy. But it was close. So close. It looked like the entire galaxy was within our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor Five. Oh, Malachor Five! Filling the space Piece around, of shit. shining the stars. But you eventually lost. Yeah, we lost. But there is no shame in it. We lost to the greatest single warrior the Republic has ever known. It was not your ships or your men or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, the Jedi Revan, that you prevailed. His <laughs> strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, 
and the subtleties of his plans. He fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Why didn't you retreat? It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped us. But he wouldn't have been a Jedi the then. Be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? Lots to know from him. Your choice. Pretty interesting. Counters is an interesting guy. All right, HK, the droid of death. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. I'd like to know more about your technology. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. I thought you said they were moving their straying boat with a story of memory. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. So you lied to me. Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assumed the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. Right, Master? <laughs> How can you not know parts of your functionality? Answer. There have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence, or something else I am unaware of. Is there any way to repair you? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, Master, but anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. So I can restore your memory? Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. Which I don't the have. The functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. See what he's saying? So you're saying that your memory might just come back? Here's what it, the thing is. You could repair him and find out yourself more about him, but then something in the game happens which just makes it come back, and you'll see what I mean later. It's pretty big, so I'll just say this. Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master, but there is no way to know. There is. I know all about that. Tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. It's funny because he calls everyone meat bags, like all his enemies. It's. So how do I get him go about restoring part of your memory? Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. I don't think I can do it, but I'd like to try restoring some of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am... Yeah, I don't think I can do it. Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. <laughs> what are you doing? Remove the arc wrench! <laughs> Remove the arc wrench! Medic! Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, me. I mean, Master. Ah. Uh, to be going nowhere. Very well, we'll do this later. As you desire, Master. Alrighty, so I got. I can't repair him. I'm gonna leave. I might drop off Sasha. Is there anybody in here yet? No, no. I can't remember who sits there. Some dumbass. T3 doesn't say much either. No. 
don't think you can really talk to this guy. 